Hello class. Today's topic is on skeletal system. Our subtopic is characteristics of mammals. I will be dividing the lessons into lesson one, lesson two based on the subtopics we'll be treating. And the subject is called biology. All right, let's begin. For this lesson, our learning objective at the end of the day you should be able to describe the characteristic features of a mammal, certain features that make a mammal or an organism considered to be a mammal. So we have our key terms, vertebrates, vertebrates, mammals, mammals, sebaceous gland, sebaceous gland, Mammary gland, mammary gland, pinny, pinny, suckle, suckle, warm blooded, warm blooded, locomotion, locomotion, viviparity. Viviparity, cartilage, cartilage. So at the end of the day, these are some key terms you should familiarize yourself with. So by the end of the lesson, you should be able to understand these key terms and explain it when the need arises. All right, let's move on to our lesson. So we are going to talk about the skeletal system. So we first of all need to know what the skeletal system is or which organism we are likely to find the skeletal system in so mostly the skeletal system is needed for locomotion by the attachment of muscles we have locomotion or movement happening in organisms and mostly we will consider vertebrates now when we talk about a vertebrate a vertebrate is an animal with a spinal cord surrounded by cartilage or bone now this is what we mean by a vertebrate you are likely to find an organism with bone and then in between two sets of bones or sometimes if in places where there's no bone you are, ex you are expecting to find a cartilage a soft tissue which cushions and is flexible enough to support the bones for articulation and movement right now this is what we refer to as a vertebrate an animal with a spinal cord now with a spinal cord when you look at individual let's take the human since we'll be dealing with human in this uh, topic when we take the human from your brain that's your neck region looking at this image from your neck down to the base right to where your waist is you realize that there is a set of bones which when you feel even the back of your neck you expect to find now this set of bones is what is known as the vertebral column now this is what i mean by the vertebral column where the pointer is moving through this is the vertebral column being made up of various set of bones individual bones known as vertebrae one is vertebra plural vertebrae so these bones one bone is vertebra a set of these bones vertebrae now together they form the vertebral column do you get the difference now very good now internal or inside this vertebral column or what is known as the spine take note i didn't say spinal cord i said spine now inside the spine or the vertebral column you have a network of nerves you know what nerves does sending transmitting impulses very good now the network of nerves runs through from the brain to other parts of the body mostly through the vertebral column into other parts of the body now this network of nerves is what is known as the spinal cord so now we know the difference between a spinal cord and a vertebral column very good 
So this is what we'll be looking at in our subsequent lessons. The various vertebrae that make up the vertebral column. All right, let's continue. Now we are going to look at characteristics of mammals since this lesson is mostly on characteristics of mammals. Now with one, we have mammals have external ears with funnel-like thinning. Mammals have external ears with funnel-like thinning. When you take a structure, for instance, you realize I have a pair of ears, one on each side. Now this ear is outside, unlike my tongue that you find inward. That is what we refer to as external ears. Now our ears take the shape of a funnel. When you look at the structure of the ear here, you find that, you see, the external ear makes a funnel-like shape you right down into the inner core. It's like a funnel funnel which you can pour water and other substances into in the lab yes so that is one characteristic feature of a mammal they have external ears with funnel like pinning another characteristic of mammals is that mammals have sense organs and brain which are well developed now in your previous years in GHS that's junior high and primary you learned about sense organs what are some of the sense organs you know of? We'll have an assignment on that, so I would urge you to revise if you have forgotten about the sense organs, but I believe not. Now, these organs are well developed in mammals, such that we can feel and know things much better than other organisms. Mammals also have sebaceous sweat and mammary glands so we have other types of glands not just the sebaceous sweat and mammary glands on our skin i want to talk about sebaceous glands these are fat secreting glands so you have your hair follicles being moisturized by these fat secreting glands your skin being you know moisturized sometimes that's why you have oil on your skin so that's a result of the sebaceous gland and we know what sweat glands are excretion it's very important sweat glands ensure that excretion, uh, excretion occurs better in mammals and then also we have mammary glands mammary glands serve a very important function which we will talk about in our subsequent slide now mammals also have hair or fur on their bodies when you feel your skin you can see there are hair follicles on your skin now this is very important for uh, keeping the organism warm insulation to serve as insulation on our bodies to protect us from cold other mammals have fur in place of hair so we have examples of mammals being mice you have polar bears you have cow the cattle and all that dogs cats they are all mammals now these mammals when you feel their skin you can feel fair they have fair also for insulation and protection of their bodies very good now this is another characteristic feature of mammals you will not find hair or fair on a bed because a bed is not a mammal right moving on another characteristic of mammals is that female mammals suckle their young ones and when you look at the picture on the slide you find a mother breastfeeding the young one which is the baby now this is very important it's a source of nourishment and nutrition you know the mother will give the milk to the child to support the child while the child is unable to cater for itself. Now, aside this serving as nourishment, it also serves as a point where immune, the immune system of the child is developed in the sense that the male contains certain antibodies from the mother, which is transferred to the child because when at birth, your immune system is not really developed. So you need this breast milk. That's why it's recommended that 
for every child the mother breastfeeds at least six months now this is very essential for proper growth of a young child so you have another example of a mama which mama do we have on the right yes we have a horse also the kid breastfeeding from the mother these are all characteristics of mammals. Another characteristic feature of mammals is that mammals are viviparous. Viviparity or viviparous means that they are able to give birth to their young ones live. Now, on the right, you find some organisms, and I've written oviparous organisms. You've seen a turtle, an alligator, and then a chicken on the right. Now, these organisms are oviparous. Oviparous meaning that they lay eggs and then the eggs have to hatch into their young ones. So, you find a chicken hatching or laying eggs and then the chicken or the chicks hatching from these eggs. Same as an alligator and a turtle. So, these organisms are not mammals. Now, among these, you have you have amphibians and then you have a bird. These are not mammals. So this is the clear cut difference between a viviparous organism and an oviparous organism. So with viviparity, this is what we mean. The ability for the young to be delivered live, such that the mother will push the child out of the womb live. Your mother didn't give birth to you as an egg and you hatched 12 days later. No. Immediately your mother was given the alert to push. Your mother pushed and you came out as a living being, not as an egg. This is what we mean by viviparity. Now this characteristic feature is peculiar to only mammals. Mammals are viviparous. They give birth to their young ones live. So you have a set of puppies coming from the mother live and at this moment they are also suckling are being breastfed by their mother so based on all these characteristics how will you define a mama very good now a mama is defined as a warm blooded vertebrate distinguished by the possession of hair or fair. Females that secrete milk for the nourishment of the young and the birth of live young. Now these features are peculiar to only mammals. This is what makes a mama a mama. Now I ask you, which breed of organism are you? Are you a reptile? Are you an amphibian? Are you a mammal? Or are you a bird? I believe you can answer this question very well. This brings us to the end of our lesson for today. For today, we looked at characteristics of mammals. Characteristics of mammals, we first of all looked at our key terms. And then we looked at the skeletal system as a whole. The vertebrate, what a vertebrate is. And then we also looked at certain characteristic features of mammals which distinguish them from other organisms now these features will be very necessary for our subsequent lessons because we'll be looking at specifically certain features in the skeletal system of these mammals so we first of all need to know who or what a mammal is so based on this I'm going to give you an assignment now the assignment is here you have to state three differences between bone and cartilage. Remember, we spoke about differences or we spoke about the bone and the cartilage. You give me three differences between bone and cartilage. And also distinguish between an endoskeleton and exoskeleton. You will see the assignment on the portal. So you submit the work on the portal by typing. Thank you for your attention. I believe you've learned a lot and see you in our next class.